Hello, my name is uh, Bishop Nana Kojo Obriyabua. I'm the founder and uh, general officer of OIC Church Ministries and also the CEO of uh, Spiritus TV. The Bible says God is a spirit and he must be worshipped in truth and in spirit. I can assure you that most people are worshipping God in truth, but the spiritual side is also very important. Most of us are being hunted by this negative spiritual world, but I pray that come to One in Christ Ministries and the Lord is going to help you come out of your situation. We are located at Spintex, uh, just opposite Spintex, on the Spintex Main Road. Or you can call any of these numbers. And through spirituality, God will meet you at the point of your needs. God is a spirit and those who worship Him must worship Him in truth and in spirit. Anybody believe it tonight? Are you wondering why your problem still persisted? That is because you have not met the true and right spiritual man of God. Enough enough. You have tried the rest. Now come to the one in Christ ministry and have an encounter with Bishop Nana Obriyebo and all your spiritual solutions and problems that you have been looking for all these years will be given to you. Contact One in Christ Ministry on 02452-00008 and feel the spiritual side of life. <laughs> Hello, good evening, and uh, welcome with uh, Time with Bishop Nana Eboa. Uh, today we are doing the English version of uh, our daily program. Usually the English version is going to be on Thursday, sorry, Wednesdays and Thursdays. And today the topic is going to be angels and pure spirits. Uh, actually, what happens is that <coughs> most people think every spirit that comes from the heavenly planes are angels. Uh, today I want to give you a brief uh, explanation uh, so that you understand and after that I'm going to also try and give you a brief of how to be able to communicate or get help from an angel okay these are not your guardian angels these are angels so we have angels we have guardian angels we have archangels uh, we have uh, serp uh, cherubims we have seraphims we have thrones we have different different types of uh, uh, what you call it, pure spirits and uh, Sometimes we call them all angels. So this is why I'm trying to uh, give an explanation today so that through that we have We must first have an, an understanding then through that we must we can be able to uh, Do or receive because you can only receive when you understand uh, what you're doing Okay, so angel as I explained the other day, it's called angelos in the Greek word and the meaning of angels or angelos means messengers Okay, so usually uh, we have the evangelical uh, churches or uh, evangelic churches or the evangelic people who, which means good news. The word evangelic means good news. And usually uh, an angel comes with good news. So uh, many of times we realize that anything that is good comes uh, through angels or from angels. But I have to also tell you something. Sometimes it might not also be all that of good, of good news. So I'm going to also try and explain that to you today. Now, angel is the office, not the nature. Uh, uh, what I'm trying to say is that angel is the office that, the word angel is the office that the spirit, some of the spirits hold, but not the nature of the spirit. So it means that uh, the spirit might be a messenger, but the nature is not necessarily uh, all about messaging. The nature could be doing something else uh, because they have individual natures as the Lord has created them. Okay, so when we're talking about the angels as we talk about, as we know, uh, they are messengers, but not all angels are messengers or not all uh, pure spirits are messengers or angels. Okay, so the word an English person will call, a Greek person will call 
uh, a messenger, messenger, uh, sorry, angel and, or angelos, and an English person or speak, someone who speaks an English would, instead of calling angel, angel, will call the name messenger because it means the same thing. So angelos, angel, also means messenger. Okay? It might sound a bit confusing, but it's very, very simple. Uh, the whole thing is that people need to understand that the word angel means a messenger. Okay? Uh, <clears throat> now, the most important thing is that there are difference between angels and other heavenly spirits. It is very important to know that. And uh, when you come to know that, then you can be able to differentiate when you want to you, you want to maybe communicate or you want to ask the Lord of any help through his holy angels because then you can differentiate what angel you're talking about. So when you're talking about the heavenly spirits, they are called pure spirits. So today I'm going to give you a little bit of an explanation. Now you have, when we're talking about pure spirits, you have something called uh, seraphims, uh, you have something called cherubs, that's cherubims, and uh, so forth. So now when you look at in the Bible, in a place in Isaiah 6 verse 6, Isaiah 6 verse 6, then it says, And one of the seraphims flew to me, having in his hands a burning coal that he had taken with thanks from the altar. You understand? So the seraphim, actually what they do is that they are within the heavenly realms, within the throne of God. All the time that's where they are. Those are not messengers. Those are high or pure spirits. So those, you might call them angel, which means messenger, but their real duty is not as messengers as other angels like holy angel uh, Gabriel does and who did the annunciation. Okay? Now, in, with the pure spirits are always in the presence of the Lord. So when we are talking about the uh, uh, different or higher spirit, because you have different or stronger or more powerful angels when which comes to the to the stand of the uh, uh, cherubim, cherubims. Okay. Now, when you look at Isaiah again, six one verse thirteen, it talks about the, cher uh, the cherubims or the seraphim. Sorry, it talks about them having six wings. It talks of them always singing in the presence of the Lord, holy, holy, holy. They are not messengers coming to you bringing messages up and forth. They are there always in the presence of the Lord, giving the Lord praises and singing to the Lord. So I just want you to understand the differences. And then the cherubims also have four wings. Now after the cherubims, you have other angels called thrones. You have other angels called dominions. You have other angels called principalities. You have other angels called powers. You have other angels called holy ones. I mean, you have many. So they have specific names. But what is happening is that most of we have put them all together as one, okay, as angels. But I just want you to know that they, are, they, they might be angels like looking in the clouds, as we see now. You know, when you look in the clouds, uh, a, meteorolog a, <coughs> a meteorologist will see things differently from the way you will see things. Okay? What you might uh, see, there are clouds called uh, cumulus. The cumulus clouds is a pile of clouds. It has a different thing that it does all together. You have cl clouds called nimbus. Nimbus, that is a cloud that has rain and thunder, and, uh, but it's still a cloud. And then you have status. It is all different types of clouds. But you, a lay person, might see them all as clouds. They are not. They are different types of clouds. Okay, so it's the same thing with the angels. They are different, different types, but they are different natures. And they are also different uh, capabilities and also purposes. That is why they are called pure spirits. But if you're talking about what an angel is, then the angel is uh, angel like Angel Michael, Angel Gabriel. Those are angels that are common to human beings. The Lord has been sending to come to us and help us. And uh, those angels that helped before can also do the same today and are doing the same today. And that is why I want to talk about it very much today. Because after this, I'm also going to show you how best you can, if possible, get help from an angel. Because uh, there were times that Christ said, if it is my will, I can wish that my Father will send many heavenly angels to do my will for me. You understand? Uh, you can also request so that God would help or send his angels to help you to do your will for you. Okay? Now, one thing I want to say today is that uh, 
it is always best to understand something as i was saying earlier because if you don't understand something you cannot differentiate it and if you cannot differentiate something you may not be able to know exactly what you're doing so it is very important that what we are discussing today uh we understand this initial point before we go into exactly what i want to teach you uh <clears throat> angels can appear normal they can appear to you as very normal uh human beings uh well, that one when you look in Genesis 19, it speaks about that. That is the story of uh, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, two angels appeared to Lot, and uh, they they appeared. But then Lot realized that they were a bit different, because he bowed down and he realized that they were sent. They were messengers. So uh, in that sense, they appeared normally. Okay. But first thing that you must understand is that when an angel appears to anybody or most people, the first thing the angel will say, "Do not be afraid." Why would the angel say that? The angel will say, Peace be unto you, do not be afraid. And what I'm about to also tell you today concerning how to communicate with an angel, that is what you have to expect. Because if you are trying to communicate with an angel, or if you're trying to get help uh, from God through an angel and you're afraid, uh, sometimes it's not that easy for the angel to appear to you. Okay? Whether in a vision, whether in a physical appearance, or whatever. Okay? Because when you look in Luke 1, verse 30, it says something. And the angel said to her, that is what the angel was making an announcement to Mary. He says, don't be afraid, Mary. That was the first thing that it, uh, after talking, that was one of the first things that he told Mary. Then when you look at Luke 2, verse 10, it says, do not be afraid. That was when the shepherds were <coughs> feeding their flocks. And then it, uh, the angel said, do not be afraid, I brought good tidings." Because whoever saw an angel was scared, was afraid. You understand because many people think that when you see an angel it's just some beautiful butterfly flying around with wings and things yes it might be but sometimes angels can be huge sometimes they can be uh they can come with uh holding salt they can come you know in a in a warrior a way of a warrior which can be very scary and sometimes the apparition can be very much unexpected you see so sometimes the apparition will scare you so the thing is that most of the time, people simply, because the other day I was talking to somebody and uh, he was saying, well, I've been meeting angels and when they come, they just fly around like birds and things. And I thought it was very funny or seriously misinformed. You should not be misinformed. These are very serious things and we must understand things very well so that based on that, we can be able to enjoy the fruits of what God has given us. Okay. Now, when you look at uh, Daniel, Daniel had an experience. And that experience shows you why the angel will tell you not to be afraid. Because, you know, anything that is beyond your imagination can be very scary sometimes. Okay? So it says, when you look at the description of what it says, Daniel 10, verse 5 to 12. Daniel 10, verse 5 to 12. When you look or you listen to the description, it's a bit scary. And this is what the description says. First of all, as the angel was talking, the angel said that, uh, fear not okay but as daniel with were, were with some people then he had a vision but others did not see the vision but he had an, a vision and he saw a face a gigantic figure very thick tall uh the face was like lightning and you know how lightning is i mean you can imagine when it rains and sometimes the lightning. we're not talking about thunder there's difference between thunder and lightning the thunder is the one that makes noise the lightning is the flash of light so the face is like lightning so you can see how lightning can light sometimes. It's very bright and very scary. Then <clears throat> his eyes were like torches. Torches means like something like flame, like fire. So uh, you can you can imagine seeing a face like lightning and the eye like fire. It is very scary. You understand? And then he says the arms and legs were full of bronze. It was like bronze, like you you know what bronze is, uh, like heavy metal. You know, and this was muscular heavy metal. And the voice was multitudes. The voice of a multitude means that many people. So what, as, like, as I'm speaking, you hear about so many voices coming out, but saying the same thing. That is extremely scary. Uh, sometimes the very thick multitude, like uh, not something, not a child's play, not something that you might think, uh, you know, you can see at a fantasy place or something like that, or something that you can joke with. So now put all this combination together. Uh, uh, lightning face, uh, what do you call it? 
uh, fiery eye, bronze body, uh, with a voice, heavy voice, and holding a huge sword. Uh, Daniel said at that moment, the strength in him, he had no strength, he collapsed. Everything in him felt so low. He, it's just like he, could, he couldn't do anything. He, the fear was so much. So now you can understand why the angel will tell you. He says, then the angel told Daniel, he says, stand up. I've been sent to you. That is an angel because the angel has been sent to Daniel. So that is the difference. So when the angel was sent to Daniel, the angel appeared scary. So another thing that the angel said is that do not be what? Afraid. Because usually when you are afraid, then you will not be able to even see or hear the message because fear has taken control over you. So the reason why I'm showing, I'm, I'm telling you this because I'm going to show you how to go about certain things and communicate with angels. But if it happens, you know, sometimes you might not expect it the way you, you, you thought it was going to happen. So when it happens and you're not very uh, ready, then sometimes you might be in shock. So you must understand, this is not a fairy tale. This is something very serious. And then Daniel said he was trembling, you know, fear. Then the angel said, fear not, Daniel. He was just all over the place. Fear had taken control over him. So you must understand that when the angels appear, when the, the angel you need something of the angel, the end there is a physical appearation. There is going to be what you call fear. But then the angel would also tell you, and usually that's why the angel tell us, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid of the way I look like, which is a bit different from from you, or far different from you. Do not be afraid of how you expected me to be. Do not be afraid. I am here with something good for you angels are usually here to help you in with good things i also said that sometimes it's not all about good things i mean if you look in uh, the bible uh, there were areas whereby angel of death came by the sodom and gomorrah place place there was a time that the angel destroyed all the people apart from lot and his family so the angels can be very 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 dangerous but they are only dangerous when you are not doing the right now you are also uh, rebelling against God or what God has or what God wants to do then the angels will retaliate with with fierce and decisive uh, attack on the individual person but apart from that angels are very good very wonderful and uh, what do you call it pure spirits are very good and very wonderful now another thing is that <clears throat> angels can do the impossible you know what you think is impossible angel can do it that's what I'm saying that whatever your problem is, you're sick and uh, the disease is about to kill you. Uh, your situation is irreversible. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Childbirth has, is a problem. Uh, financially, uh, everything is against you and you're about to be even evicted from your place. The situation that is so impossible, I'm telling you, is very possible for an angel. I mean... It is very possible and I'm gonna give you an example you understand because the angel that was able to remove Daniel sorry Meshach Abednego and Shadrach from the fire can do anything for you now when you look at Daniel 2 verse 26 to 27 uh, that is where this came, this came about and at the end of it these young men were in fire the heavy furnace they did not get burned so the impossible can be possible with the angels you see things that you thought can never be possible in your life things that you thought that uh you're finished uh the time has come uh things will not be never be okay for you uh you've been praying about it things like that it is very possible so today i'm going to give you an example uh how how to be able to communicate with the holy angel and how to be able to get uh, receive answers uh, from the Lord through His holy angels. Okay, it is it has happened before, and it's still happening, and it will happen again. But the problem is that when these things happen, we don't simply know how it happens, or we don't simply know how to go about it to get it to happen. You understand? But I'm telling you, as I'm teaching this today, uh, if at least ten people try it, at least six people are going to get positive results and these people getting positive results is because they are determined you see whatever you're doing and whatever you're asking for to the lord you miss you must make sure that you are very determined you must make sure that you're very serious you're very 
you comport yourself and you do whatever you're asking for, you do it with humbleness. And I can assure you, everything is possible. Nothing is impossible. The man who lost his ear, Christ took it and put it back. It's impossible. It was impossible that there was no surgeries at those times, but it was able to be done. So everything is possible. Now, to be able to communicate with uh, with an angel, this the difference is that this is not your guardian angel. These are holy angels or archangels. Okay. Now, to be able to communicate with an angel, okay, and and get help from an angel, just like the olden days, what the Lord sending angels. Uh, to those he loves. The Lord loves you and he still does that today. Okay? The only thing is that you don't know how to go about it and I'm going to try and uh, show you how to do that. Uh, you must totally be chast. Chast means that you must abstain from uh, earthly things like alcohol, like engaging with the opposite sex, things like that. You must be totally clean and holy for 45 days. Four, five days. It's very, very important. So the chast the chest must be 45 days of pure cleanliness, not eating, not drinking alcohol, and not eating. Usually, if possible, try and eat some like fish and chicken and things like that. But uh, it will be, it's, it's not really the best eating meat. You understand, like uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, bloody meat, like cow, uh, pig, things like that. But then, if you can resort to more fruits and uh, you know rice, things like that. So 45 days, try and be, yeah, be chast. And on the first day or the 45 days, the first day you start, you have to fast. Okay? You have fast from sun up to sun down. Meaning that early morning, when, before the sun gets up, or comes up, you fast. Then uh, you break your fast when the sun goes down. Okay? So it depends on the area you are. Some people have just uh, six hours of sun a day. Some people have even uh, 13 hours of sun. So it depends on the area that you are okay so after the first day uh but okay if you cannot fast because there are some people who have uh what do you call it have problem with their stomachs so sometimes if you cannot fast do not kill yourself just you can, you should only not fast if physically you cannot do that or medically you cannot do that then uh, you can leave the fast because god knows and the angels know your condition and your situation okay and that could be one of the reasons why you're praying so that you get out of that situation okay so you fast on the first day and then the rest of the days for the rest of the uh 45 days uh or 44 days because the first day you fast the other days you can fast in between okay but if you cannot that is okay i would also warn you do not fast throughout the whole 45 days okay uh don't don't do that just once a while and things like that and do not also I strictly will advise you, do not say that you're going on 45 days dry fasting. I'm telling you, it kills people. Uh, I know people who have tried to do that and some did die. It's not, the human body is not meant to take that. You understand? Because Christ had a spiritual side of him. You also do, but Christ was far advanced than you. So, that 45 days, I would advise you not to do a dry fasting day and night for 45 days is not going to help okay because your system your body might not take it okay especially the fluid water and things like that now when you when you fast within and you you get yourself charged for 45 days the next thing you need is that you need a room a very neat room that uh that will be uh don't, no, you cannot do this in a hotel room no very importantly you cannot do that you have to get a place that you've prepared that has been prayed uh prayed uh you know you've been praying in you've been uh, uh requesting the lord's presence the angel's presence to be there and things like that it's very important so the light you're going to use to make sure that it's natural light natural light and then the incense you're going to use is going to be mastic mastic incense and original temple incense there are different types of temple incense but you need what is called the original temple incense okay you can get those things on google or there are other shops i think there are some shops that uh do their adverts on uh spiritual tv you can get it from those shops okay and then you need a clean cloth that is what you're gonna wear it must be clean uh clean in the sense of you can even if you get a new cloth make sure you wash it put a little bit of water sorry salt in the water and you wash it very good and then uh, hang it at a clean place uh make sure it's clean for this particular process the color of the cloth 
or uh, what you're gonna wear or the gown should be gold color silver color or white color these three colors are uh, better usually white is good okay and if it's white it's got to be pure white not cream pure white or gold or silver and then the option this one is option you can get a mirror a mirror in the room it's an option not compulsory okay so if uh, you need to get a mirror you can do that because I would, I would explain why you need it <coughs> excuse me why you need the mirror okay now what you do now is that uh, on the 45th day after you have done the next trip at the processors I've just said on the 45th day what you do is that you enter your clean room and then uh, first of all there was one thing I forgot you get a clean material a similar the same color to what you're wearing you put it on the floor in the clean, in the clean room make sure you don't have gadgets all over the place uh, you know clothes hanging here and there it must be a very clean area okay and then you put the cloth on the floor okay now when you put it on the floor uh, the next thing you do is that you put the pure the light uh, when I say pure light natural light is something like a candle or something like a, a lamp and the lamp you cannot use kerosene you cannot use anything petroleum you have to use natural things like olive oil or uh, things like that that can fire it off can power it okay so uh you light the lamp or you light your candle the candle color should be the, if it's a candle it might be the same color as what you're wearing okay either white candle gold or silver candle okay then you put your incense in an incense burner or in an earthenware the earthenware should be something like something made out of clay okay so you put your charcoal there and then you put your incense in it okay then you sit facing the east it's very important you must sit facing the east so before you do that you must get a compass and see where the east is the east side of your location is it's extremely important now after that you're going to repeat this particular name of god it's very very important you repeat it and the number of times that you repeat it is extremely important if you miss it by one it's not going to work if you if you short repeat it a uh, short repeat it is not going to work so if you repeat it 40 uh, 552 times it's not going to work if you repeat it 556 times it's, gonna, it's not going to work you have to repeat it 555 times so what you do is that if you're a Catholic you have your rosary or you can get a rosary and the rosary has a number uh, maybe it's 99 or 100 as you pull so as you say each one you pull so that at least you know that you've pulled it when you go one circle you know that you've, you've pulled it a hundred times or another hundred times just like that you reach 555 times so the name is Elohim I'm not supposed to mention this this E-L-O-H-I-M E-L-O-H-I-M so you repeat this name 555 times it's very important now that is after you've laid everything and then as you mention this name this number of time as you're mentioning if you have the mirror there you, you could be looking in the mirror as you pray and as you mention make sure that you put up the light the natural the, the what you call it the artificial light like bulbs whilst you're using the other lights uh, like the wax or whatever or, or the lamp so as you repeat this be looking in the mirror as you look in the mirror you feel a bit sleepy and uh you will see an apparition in the mirror that is if you do everything right you will see an apparition and that is where do not be afraid because the apparition you might see might not be as you expect to see uh, as you expect like you see uh, a pure white uh, angel with wings you know flapping no sometimes it might the angel might appear to you the way it feels like a paper sometimes you might see it in a warrior form you know with a fire, a fire I just like in Daniel Sometimes you might see it in different form, I don't know, but you must expect or do not be surprised to see uh, what you call an apparition that is more uh, scarier than you thought. But then, one, one of the first things the angel might tell you is that do not be afraid. And if the angel does not say that, to do not be afraid. But then, if the mirror is not there, you're not going to see anything. All that you, you realize is you feel a presence. You feel a presence around and you would the presence will be heavy so when, when you feel that then you start requesting why why you've called uh, the Lord's uh, angel or messenger to be there to help you 
uh, or to help you in your quest. And please make sure you don't ask for anything evil or anything negative. For example, uh, I want to take somebody's girlfriend or I want to take somebody's wife or I want to collect somebody's man. No. The moment you do that, the angel will disappear and I can assure you, you'll never get any help from that angel again. So please, whatever you're asking for is for something good for yourself. Your marriage, if there are problems in your marriage, you're praying that the Lord helps, the Lord's angels helps you so that those problems will go away. You're praying for peace and happiness in your marriage. You're praying for, you're praying for healing. Uh, you're having a... a like a, a condition whereby you've been given time that you uh, you're not gonna survive you're praying for that uh, childbirth has become a problem whereby and your mother your sister-in-laws are uh, taunting at you a man you haven't low sperm count you know something to help your personal self your job you need a job you've been fighting you've been trying you're not getting it. that is it just uh, pray about that you get it sometimes if the apparition does not come in a mirror don't, don't worry it might come to you in a dream or even if it doesn't come at all just say your will say your will and say it with happiness with knowing that you're going to receive it i can assure you you receive because it's not all the time that it might appear to you you know there are some people who have gifts these people are called cs those are automatic gifts so with a population of about six billion in this world about one point or two billion of them have the abilities of being cs others don't so sometimes not everybody who might see and uh, sometimes people who are naturally cs within even the first five, six, seven days, they can they might they might even see the apparition. Okay, now sometimes too, you don't want to go to that extent. All that you want to do is to get help from the holy angels. This is another procedure you can do that. Okay, and that one, what you do is that uh, you get uh, you do the same procedure as before, but instead of the uh, forty-five days, instead of forty-five days chastity, you uh, chast. You're going to be not chastity, sorry, chast. You're going to be 14 days chast. That's 14 days without uh, doing anything of the flesh or anything negativity. Okay? Then uh, <clears throat> the first day you're going to fast and then the last day. This one you don't have to fast within. So the first day and the last day. This one you need an oil called an angel oil. Now there are a lot of fake ones around uh, out there. So Google it and then you might get the right ones. Some of the best one is uh, an Arriva uh, Angel Oil uh, uh, and some more. When you also call that same company, I think they do have some original ones, okay? And then you need a new cloth, just like the other one. And then the name Elohim, you, this one you say it for 77 times, not 555 five, five times. This one you say it for 77 times. Now, after you've done that, that is on, this, on the 14th day, that is when you do this. Or after you've done that, speak your request and feel when you're speaking your request you feel a bit chilliness you feel like you feel a presence okay you're not going to see anything no but you feel either some nice wind or nice perfume or some something beautiful you feel it or sometimes you might not feel anything at all, but just say your will say your request the same time nothing negative do not go and talk about you know trying to hit somebody attack somebody things like nothing negative just go on the positivity side and then by God's will, I can assure you, you're going to get results on that also. Usually when you request the Lord for anything through His Holy Angels, sometimes do not expect it to be the overnight, okay? Because uh, sometimes it might take some time, okay? But you would get your results. That one I can assure you. Because uh, sometimes you must understand that the Prince of Persia will fight, will try and delay the answer to your prayers. but provided you start praying and you have faith what will happen is that the lord will keep will send his angel and if there's any problem uh, or the prince of persia from your hometown or from your village or somewhere trying to block the angels i can assure you higher that is why you're praying with god's name higher angels will come and more angels will come angels are there are legions there are billions of them and i can assure you it's not going to be just like your normal prayer whereby sometimes it's blocked these ones are straight it's, it, these ones you can be assured that you're going to see your results now today uh, I'm going to end here but uh, what I'm going to say is that if you want help from angel you have to first of all be very 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 uh, open heart and innocent and very good do not be well, nobody is very perfect but at least do not try to be uh, asked for or try and be evil or within the process of doing this because within the process of doing if you do negative things you will not get the result so as you're praying towards the 14 days or the 45 days and then you know 
you go about insulting people just like that you go about uh, you know unnecessary things I can assure you you're gonna waste your time and you're not gonna see any result okay uh, <clears throat> now the last one is to get help from an angel uh, or to get help from a pure spirit or to get help from God's godly spirit now for example if you are innocent and you feel that you're being attacked spiritually or whatever at work at uh, you know society wherever this is what you have to do you get a fresh orange not so right green okay and uh, what you do is that it's uh, given a similar uh, uh, process but this is a little bit different and you get a brand new knife a brand new knife and a green orange okay not a ripe not too ripe of an orange but a green one uh, preferably just get it plug it from the tree because usually if you don't plug it directly from the tree it might have gone through some processes some areas that is not positive so after that you wash it very well with salt and water and then <coughs> you put the oil uh, or orange down and you with one slash do not cut it twice one slash cut the oil or orange into two so that it separates so you cut it once and it separates now when it separates where the eye is you know there's an eye of the oil the one that holds the tree or which which uh hangs on the tree that, that side you hold that side on your right in your right hand and then where the bottom part is you hold it in your left hand okay these are very important so you speak you speak on the left one that is the one without the eye you speak on it and then you request that i pray to god i pray god to let his holy angels to take away any evil that has been sent upon me or that has come upon me to reverse it back to where it came from and i pray any evil should go back to the evil doer okay that is the one in the left then the one in the right you also pray that i pray that may god give me good tidings bring me positivity so that everything goes well after that the one in the right eat it and after you drink the the juice out of the orange and after that throw it away uh throw it somewhere so that nobody else to go and just pick it and eat this eat your blessing also share your blessing with you so throw it at a safe place then that is the one in your right hand don't go and eat the left one please eat the one in the right hand then the one in the left hand that is where you've prayed the reversible negativity so that one after that throw it in fire or throw it in a place that it will be consumed okay in fire is best if not i uh, throw it in the moving water or something like that and i can assure you if somebody has done you evil that the evil does not deserve you don't deserve that evil i can assure you that person will be attacked seriously back from its own or her own evil so whatever they've done to you would go back onto them so this is uh some tips i'm going to give you today and uh, i pray that at least we've learned something today we're going to open the phone lines and uh yeah i'll try my best to see if i can answer some questions so thank you very much for today and tomorrow too will continue and i pray that the good lord will help us so we can open the phone lines now the phone lines are open and uh, those who want to call can call in uh also uh next week god so god being so good our uh, spiritual tv is coming back on uh multi tv right now we're on free view that's where you're watching me from on facebook but now next week we're going to get it on uh what do you call it back on multi tv and uh other people who are missing us people have been calling us people are uh you know asking us why the, the uh is being off uh we're doing some face some face lift so it will come back and it's going to be spiritus tv plus you just have to re uh, scan your tv and uh, uh you find us there that is somewhere from next week monday within the week definitely you'll find us back there also i'm going to talk about our three days impartation uh that is uh friday saturday sunday at spring test road uh we're praying that uh the good lord is doing wonderful work so anyone who wants to join us on friday uh the time is from uh uh what do you call it eight to ten uh friday saturday eight to ten then on sundays is gonna be nine to eleven we will be expecting you there god is doing a lot of wonderful work and uh i pray i think so hello. oh hello sorry hello good evening hello hello good evening good evening sir just like all, uh, all the only just with the prophet uh, you're online, you're talking to me direct here. You can either speak in English or in Chi, it's okay. Yeah. yeah I, 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 I said you're, you're talking to uh, you're talking to Bishop right now. 
but you can speak in either Cree or in English. Okay, hello. Can I have your name, please? Uh, it was giving some teaching. Yes. Uh, I think we met it halfway. Oh, okay. Uh, the program is going to be repeated again tomorrow morning, so you can rewatch it early morning, or you can also go to uh, Facebook or YouTube, Spiritus TV. Well, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, what time? Tomorrow morning from 5 to 5 to 7, uh, you'll be back on TV. 5 a.m. to 7 uh, a.m. in the morning. It's going to be repeated. Okay? Or you can go to Facebook, uh, that is Spiritus TV, uh, or YouTube, SpiritusTV.com. Sorry, Spiritus TV at YouTube. You will get. Hello? Hello? Good evening. Good evening. Yo. Yeah, who speak? Good evening. Good evening, sir. Who speaking and what's your yeah. contribution, please? Uh, my, uh, my name is Kevin. I'm Kevin. from Kaswa. Yo, Kevin. Yo, Kevin, what's your contribution? I'm calling, yeah, I'm calling to. I just want to appreciate to you for all what you're doing for us. Oh, thank you very much, Kevin. Uh, thank you so much. And I, I appreciate well, you for calling. I have made the issue that you are taking the boundaries and then you can't, you can't uh, go uh, side and then. No, you uh, can't. No. The, I, Kevin, you yeah, cut. Always in both no, 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 no. No, Kevin, the round or, or orange, you cut the middle, not from the eye part, but from the middle part, you cut it into two with one slash. Okay? Then the eye will be in your left, right hand, and then the other part, the, the bottom will be in your left hand. Okay? Hello? Hello? Good evening. Hello? Hello, good evening. Yeah, good evening. But you're going to make a tree, Sorry? I'm calling from Adenta. Adenta. Uh, can I have your name, please? Your name, please. May I have your name, please? Hello. Uh, can you lower your TV, please? But also, who bet me a free? Who bet me a kachi? And also, bet me a kabrofu. You can speak both. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, can I have your name, please? Uh, uh, can you lower your TV, please? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, let me just say, mm -hmm. uh, yesterday we a bonfire. Now, I wonder what I see in ya. Who plays the beer? Who beer like? Who beer has in? Who beer has ya? Let me just say, let me have a story. Eh, oh, but me have a story. But the problem with coming to a story is, who say it's it's an open place? And to say, we have to say, who bet me have a normal prayer zone? But say, but the day. Of doing your calling, there. Uh, uh, when I saw other people who help me who are both know, into the it is advisable say. We better have a habit of prayers and throughout. But the day self per se, we do physical appearance in there, and they also only have a beer beer no. But some person will bump for results there, and they better have a no sorrow. Yes, we better have a no sorrow. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Pacho. Uh, can you lower your TV, please? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, can you, Pacho, wait me lower your TV? No? Can you lower your TV, please? Pacho, Pacho, lower your TV, no, Kakra, because you're just lower. Back. Thank you. Pacho, one like I said now, because I'm free. Pacho, I need the Gilbert. I can see the Kipkus. Okay, Gilbert. Yes, Gilbert, Pacho, contribution is there. Your contribution is there. You put my papa so far. That's. I mean, she's not far with my papa. Oh yeah. I mean, so. You can see how the man. Now, man, I want to know more. Ah, thank you. 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 Okay, my main answer is very quick and some real quick. But when you say man, exactly half, but my thing, it be about best one chance one side. And secondly, to request, you know, me man, you be be man, you short request for some specific reason, be me part of the brain. And now, me can say what and council said the old man can there be was but the old bomb pirate train actually I mean said Omar BBNC ML. Me that's the brain. Please, some of us, hello. Hello? But you lower your TV, please. Hello? 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 
Hello? Hello? Hello, back on our TV, look at crap. Please. Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening. I'm okay. Yes, sir. Please want to ask the orange are you going to figure out the fiber inside or to all No, no, no. Just the just the liquid just the liquid. But if you want to eat the fiber, that is up to you, but the liquid alone will do. Hello? 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 Hello, good evening. Evening, sir. Yo, Patron, like I say, and how can I help you, please? Hello? Hello, good evening. Evening. Yes, what's your contribution and how can I help you? But what's your country and I'm roughful? Um, Patron, you know my name, Queen, and say, your friends and say, maybe I would have a brand. Your bachelor, mommy advice you, baby. Ubet me, uh, Ubet me, uh, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, I will, uh, church one man, Kabebua, because when you are public, the whole Ghana at you, and when you are private matter, and our advice you say, bra, bra, office, I was Pinterest Road, uh, Saturday, yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a program, you all, now whatever you come, you're very quiet, very fast, and very warm. But that's it, we agree. Hello? Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Yes, sir. What's the contribution, please? Uh, can I speak to the manager? Uh, you are speaking to Bishop right now, please. You are speaking to me. I'm speaking to you. Here. Yes, you are speaking to me on, and you are on air, please. Well, when I'm watching you, I'm not <laughs> coming directly. <laughs> You are watching me, yes, because there's a delay. Yeah. There's a little bit of delay, so usually when you're watching me, it's not like this. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. okay. So, yes. So I, 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 I just want to commend you and thank you for the good work. Thank you very much, too, for liking it. Yes. Uh, this, this mystery is something that people don't normally teach. Yes, I know. But I think with this, you're trying to, the people don't normally doubt this set of mystery. Yes. But, but thank God, you're very bold to teach all this mystery. Thank you very much. And because I have the number here, mm -hmm. uh, please, where exactly are you? Uh, we are located at Springtex Road, uh, just opposite Printex, mm -hmm. uh, uh, next to the U UMB Bank, or UBA Bank, sorry. Uh, you know, on, on main Springtex Road. No, it's not a church. Yeah, that is what I'm saying. It's OIC Ministries. It's opposite Printex on Springtex Road. Why Going to Okay, uh, we're going to put the address uh, on online immediately after this program. But it's on OIC Ministries, opposite Printex on Springtex Road. Okay, going towards Coca Cola. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to take uh, two more calls and then uh, I'll answer Facebook and then we'll call it a day for today. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, Bishop, good evening. Good evening. Please, my name is Rita. I'm calling from Kaswa. Rita from Kaswa. Hello, Rita. How are you? I'm very fine, Bishop. How are you too? Thank you very much, Rita. And what's your contribution today? Uh, Bishop, concerning the orange, I want to know uh, if you can do it in any room or that place, that one to have to be in a holy room. Oh, no, 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 no. With the, with the issue of the orange, you can do it anywhere, but obviously, don't do it, uh, do it at a nice place. So that one, you don't need it. You don't need to do it at a particular place, no. But make sure that you're in a nice environment, a clean Hello. environment. Hello. Uh huh. Gilbert, I don't know what I said to you. Gilbert, not to say what's up. Uh huh. Well, I'm sorry to you. Yo, bad habit. Now I'm going to go to Papa. Now I'm going to say. Now I'm going to go to Papa. 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 Yeah, I mean, 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 I <laughs> Sorry. Well, yes, but we are talking will be happy here. Yes. Uh, good evening, my papa. Uh, good evening to my Kusia. And uh, maybe it's Benham. I will say, please, I have not seen green orange in us. Please, can I use green green lime? Thank you. Green orange in Ubenebi. 
But you better use green lime also. But I would red when orange better. But in your sense, you better use green lime. Yes. And uh, Jamara Benson, am I here to come come and watch? Oh, was it? Am I here to come and watch? Okay. Please share, share, share. Okay. And uh, Edwin Martin, I say, Papa, should we drink the orange on the left or what? No, no, no. Don't drink the orange on the left. <laughs> Drink the orange on the right. When you drink the orange on the left, nothing will happen, but it will not work. And remember, that is where you've done the cases on. So why do you re drink your case? So drink it on the right. Nothing, nothing bad will happen, but it is advisable to do as instructed uh, by the direction. Nothing will bad, bad will, but drink the one on the right, the one with the eye, it, uh, the eye of the, the one with the eye of the orange. That is the part that will be on your right, and that's where you drink it from. Well, I will thank you very much for today, all of you, for uh, being with me and watching Spiritus TV. May the good Lord bless you so much. Uh, I thank you for all, all those watching us on Facebook. And I'm sorry I couldn't answer all the questions. And I'll thank you also for everyone watching us on our free view today. Uh, I pray very well that next week uh, we will come back on the Multi TV. You have to rescan your TV. Tell your friends who have been missing us from Multi TV to scan, rescan, and they'll get us back. Uh, I will thank you all for everything. And you might you can send questions or call and ask questions about any other thing. Tomorrow, God's willing, will continue again, and we'll, we'll try to be teaching more about angelic. You see, uh, somebody called and said, you know, people doubt these things. Yeah, people doubt these things because some people are trying to hide these things. Based on that, they'll find a way to discredit it all, so that they will know a little bit and you will know nothing. And uh, all the time, be a master over you. Uh, I believe one thing that it's about time that we are all lifted up god has blessed us and uh we just have to know how to tap in that blessing and that is why i'm always trying my best to at least bring uh, the good news out so that we can understand and we can get something and also be uh, grateful to what god has uh, done for us i thank you today and i thank you all the time and thank you very much for being with us uh, once again, our impartation Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, all social protocols are seriously taken into consideration uh, with, with your nose mask and everything. But we are inviting you to come. Sunday services is going to be from nine to eleven. Uh, come and hear the word of God. Those who can watch us on Facebook or those who can watch us on TV, uh, join us and uh, we'll be worshiping the Lord together. Saturdays we're going to be doing pure teachings like this, spiritual teachings in church. So you come with your notebook and. Uh, your, your writing part so that you can take notes that will be and that will be live notes and in a way we might even give you a chance to ask questions that will be on saturday and then after that the prayer session will go on then on on friday it's going to be pure prayer session and pure receiving and getting answer to our prayer our problems i thank you very much i'm going to end here may the good lord bless you and may the good lord always be with you and your family amen hallelujah Hello, my name is uh, Bishop Nana Kojo Obriyabua. I'm the founder and uh, general officer of OIC Check Ministries and also the CEO of uh, Spiritus TV. The Bible says God is a spirit and he must be worshipped in truth and in spirit. I can assure you that most people are worshipping God in truth, but the spiritual side is also very important. Most of us are being hunted by this negative spiritual world, but I pray that come to One in Christ Ministries and the Lord is going to help you come out of your situation. We are located at Springtex, at just opposite Springtex on the Springtex Main Road. Or you can call any of these numbers and through spirituality, God will meet you at the point of your needs. God is a spirit and those who worship him must worship him in truth and in spirit. Anybody believe it tonight?